Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I'm truly grateful. So many channels you could be watching. You're watching, man. Your life is no longer in jeopardy when riding ferries in the Philippines. Now, why am I even coming up with this subject? And why did I even title it like that? Because many of you don't realize at one time, the Philippines had the worst maritime safety record on the planet. But fortunate for us and the hundreds of thousands who use ferries for inter-island travel, it's improved drastically over the last 10 years, almost to the global average. At one time, you literally put your life in the hands of those ferry operators when you got on board. Philippines still has the worst peacetime, maritime accident in history. In December of 1987, the Donia Paz, a ship that was only supposed to carry 1,500, but was crammed with thousands more, many of them unlisted on the register, it collided with an oil tanker and about 4,400 people perished. It's still the number one peacetime maritime accident in the history of the world. So I want to talk to you about it because if you come over here, more than likely you're going to have to ride a, a ferry. And there's many ferries here. It just depends on where you live. Now there's an alternative. You can fly. But a lot of times, depending on where you are, there may not be an, an airport. There's only something like 70 airports in all the Philippines. Now, I know a lot of you guys like to correct my numbers and stuff, but don't miss the point. I use the ferries a lot. And when I came over in 2009, I had no idea what the record was. Remember, I was a fool when I got over here. Luckily for y'all, I've rode all of these, so I'm going to tell you which ones to ride, which ones to avoid, some tips on safety, okay, there's several type of ferries, you've got those little small bunker boats, not much bigger than those fishing boats that you see people in, sometimes they use those, like when we're going from Sapawe, real short trips, eight to ten minutes, something like that. Then you got the bigger bunker boats that they use for island hopping, and then some will go up to like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, like when you go from the port in Cebu to Malapasqua, you use one of those bigger mm. bunker boats. Then you have the fast crafts. You have like the ocean jet, which is the one I would prefer. And if you have an ocean jet in your area, this is the one you want to ride. It's modern, it's safe, for the most part it's smooth, and they have a well-equipped crew. All the way up to the big passenger liners, which is the, the two-go. Now they also have something called a roll-on, roll-off. They call them roll rolls over here. These are the ones where, like the light ferry, the super cat, the fast cat. So the smaller the boat, the more likely you're going to encounter a rocky road, a rocky ride. I stay away from them, especially in the rainy season because the weather changes real quick over here. You have to see and it changes. Boom, like somebody flipped a switch. Here recently, a few months ago, two boats, two of them small boats I'm telling you about, they capsized right off the coast of San Carlos City. It had to be a scary experience. But I'm going to tell you that it's okay. Basically, yes, it's safe. You don't have anything to worry about. 
But if it looks old, if it looks crowded, it's probably unsafe, man. I wouldn't get on it. You know, that Weesome Express. And I'm not putting it down because this thing tows a lot of miles. It, it does its job for people. It gets you there fast, man, but it's old. And it's a scary ride. I posted a short video not long ago about my riding. Some guy said, oh, man, it's not even scary. Yeah, well, you get out there. Get back, Curly. Go home. Go home, Curly. So when you get on one of these fast crafts like that, it's best to get a seat aft because they're going to give forward and aft. Get back, Curly. Go, go, go. I'm going to have to throw a rock at him to get him to go back home. Go home, Curly. So when you're checking in, and this is the trip like Dumaguete to Siki Hall. <coughs> excuse me. Sabu to Dumaguete, Sabu to Bahal, Bahal to Dumaguete, like that. When you're checking in, you tell the people, hey, I want a seat in the back. Because you're going to get a better ride. If you sit there in front, it's going to be rocking, man. And it's, you may get sick. If they start giving you those plastic bags, they start handing out those plastic bags, you know that it's going to be trouble. Go back home, Curly. Come on, I'm going to go back this way. Curly's following me. He never used to follow me this far. And they'll run him over. Curly's like a member of my family now. I get you pointed. Come on, Curly. But yeah, in broad terms, I would say it's safe, guys. You know, don't be afraid, but, you know, this is where you got to use your due diligence. This is where, especially when it comes to the weather, the, the type of ferry that you're going to ride, the distance, the time of year. Use the, I'm going to say June to December is really when you don't want to ride those small boats. And you just check the weather because that's the rainy season. The winds pick up. But I've grown accustomed to riding these ferries now over the last 14 years because you don't either, you only have a, one other choice and that's to fly. But if you really want to see the Philippines slow down a whole lot, get on that ferry, it's a whole lot more affordable. You can buy a ticket all the way up to they get ready to pull out of the dock. And Ocean Jet is my my mode of choice. It goes just about everywhere. This is an archipelago, guys. You know, unless you just want to stay stuck where you are and you don't want to see other islands, there's going to come a time when you got to get on one of these ferries, man. I say it's okay. Some people won't get on them. No matter how much safety has improved, and it's improved dramatically. Imagine having the worst maritime safety record on the planet. This damn dog. Well, guys, I was going to give y'all two of them. I'm not going to be able to. Come on, Curly. So now it's, it's near the global average. And they've got some new modern ships like that 2 go that I take when I go from Dumaguete to... Manila, Dumaguete to Zamboanga. I mean, it's modern. You know, I don't have any qualms about getting on there. It's a smooth ride. Come on, Curly! It's comfortable. You get a free meal. You know, a lot of times the food is cold, but it really doesn't bother me. A lot of you didn't even know. I never even contemplated the ferry. But yeah, you're going to have to make a choice. If you're going from, let's say, Cebu to Ormuk, you got to get on that Super Cat. See, Super Cat is the roll roll. It's owned by Tugo. Come on, Curly. 
and it's modern. It's a bigger ship, which is the, which are the ones I like to ride because they have a smoother ride. And then you've got Fast Cat. It's another roll roll. It's modern, and I feel pretty safe with that. But I just want to talk about that because a lot of you are coming over here for the first time. A lot of you are going to be confronted with that choice. Do I fly or do I catch the ferry? More than likely, your girlfriend or boyfriend or somebody y'all with is going to say, "Let's hey, let's take the ferry. Because that's what they're used to doing. It's essential over here for people. They can't afford to fly. You know, at one time, it was very, very dangerous. But now... I mean, I don't have any qualms getting on that, guys. So if you have any questions, put them in the comments. But these are some things that you're going to have to think about when you come to the Philippines. I'm on Negros Island. If I want to go to Cebu Island, any other island, I'm going to have to get on one of them ferries. Okay? I can go down to Dumaguete, even from Dumaguete to Cebu, to Bahal. All the places I like to go, even if you fly into Cataclan on your way to Barakai, you got to go, excuse me, a ferry to go from Cataclan to Barakai. If you fly into Cebu and you want to go to Bantayan Island, you're going to have to ride that ferry once you get to Hegnaya Port. It's just no way around it, guys. When you go to see most of these beautiful places, even if you want to go to Puerto Galera, which is our next destination, the van only takes you so far. The taxi only takes you so far. You have to get on that ferry. But I can tip my hat to the Philippines and say that they've improved their safety record tenfold, man. It used to be the worst on the planet. They had the most Hello. Hello. Dangerous ferry system in the world. Y'all can look that up if you want to. So if you're in America, it's early. You're about to get up. Wherever you are around the world, if you could just find it in your heart to help somebody. Just to make their life a little bit better. We had our 1,000 peso pandemic giveaway drawing last night, as we do every night. We awarded two of our Filipino subscribers 1,000 pesos each. That's a lot of money over here. People struggling. You know, the pandemic's still going on. It's not 100% yet. You know, when you ride these ferries, guys, I know a lot of times we're not used to riding ferries in our countries. I know I'm not. I live in the Midwest. Don't take that safety equipment for granted. Know where the exits are. Know where the, the life jackets are. Pay attention. Just like on the plane. We always take for granted. Oh, we don't even look at that uh, film. But I would tell you to take heed to that film when it comes to these ferries, guys. It's nothing to play with. So thank y'all so much again, you know. I want to talk about things that are really going to affect you over here. And riding these ferries are no joke, man. You're going to have to do it. It's essential over here. Unless you're just going to be stuck in one spot all the time. And you didn't come 8,000 miles to be stuck in one spot. So help somebody, guys. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. We help other people. We help ourselves. Take care. Stay safe. Stay COVID free. I'll see you next time. The meet and greet is officially February 25th, 4 p.m. Meg's Resort, San Carlos City, Negros Occidental. If you're in the area, if you're in the Philippines, you want to stop by, it's free. Meet some great people. It's not to meet me, it's to meet each other. There's no invitation needed. Just stop by there. They're, I've already got the guest house already reserved for the 24th and 25th. Yeah. Hey, man, hop on. Actually, the 23rd, Anthony Williams is supposed to come down. 
him and his girlfriend for one night. Then I've got somebody in there for two nights. It's going to be a great time. It always is. One guy was worried. He said, hey, I don't know if I want to go because maybe it's a bunch of guys there trying to pick up on Philippines. Look, guys, let me tell you, I don't deal with people like that. Have, have people met at a meet and greet? Yes, they have. But are guys sitting around and your woman going to take up from you and all of that? No. Take care, everybody.